Woolly mammoths could once again roam Arctic regions, as part of an incredible plan to clone these vast beasts that disappeared, 10,000 years ago. Harvard University scientists, who are set to publish scientific papers in the coming weeks, are using DNA from a woolly mammoth that has been preserved in Siberian ice, for more than 42,000 years. If the two-year plan came to fruition, the woolly mammoths would live in a 20,000 hectare ice age safari park, created by Russian scientists in a remote part of Siberia. This could also regenerate Arctic climates, because they would stimulate the growth of vegetation, the lead researcher has said. Their ambitious plan involves growing the creature within an artificial womb, rather than recruiting a female elephant as a surrogate mother. The final beast would be a hybrid between an Asian elephant and a mammoth. Researchers are using a genetic technique called CRISPR Cas9. The system allows the cut and paste manipulation of strands of DNA, with a precision not seen before. Using this technique, scientists could cut and paste preserved mammoth DNA into Asian elephants, to create an elephant-mammoth hybrid. We have already revived dozens of genes, and are testing them in elephant cells, lead researcher Professor George Church told The Sun Online. We are focusing on a reviving mammoth genes, and making a mammoth-elephant hybrid, and help them spread to vast wild, arctic climates, he said. According to Professor Church, these large beasts could even repopulate freezing wastelands. Cold-resistant elephants would flatten the insulating snow, and supporting trees in winter and favor the highly heat-reflective grass in summer, he said. They would also help capture new carbon by enhancing the photosynthetic capacity of the vegetation. It's thought that the grasslands will reflect more sunlight than the forests that exist today, allowing the winter freeze to penetrate deeper into the crust, and cool the soil beneath. Over the years, the trees at the Siberian park have been flattened using powerful tank-like vehicles. But, in order to keep the trees from taking over again, they'll need to employ large, grazing animals, including resurrected woolly mammoths. It was first announced the billionaire founder of PayPal, had funded an ambitious project back in June last year. Peter Thiel, who is worth $2.7 billion, had reportedly put $100,000 of his own funds into a scheme. In February 2017, the group announced that the scheme would take just two more years, to produce the nearest possible thing to a mammoth that could be created. The bundle of cells would have genes for mammoth features, such as shaggy long hair, thick layers of fat, and blood that is perfectly suited to flowing in sub-zero conditions. Since starting the project in 2015, the researchers have increased the number of edits where mammoth DNA has been spliced into the elephant genome from 15 to 45. Professor Church said, we're working on ways to evaluate the impact of all these edits, and are basically trying to establish embryogenesis in the lab. The list of edits affects things that contribute to the success of elephants in cold environments. We already know about ones to do with small ears, subcutaneous fat, hair and blood, but there are others that seem to be positively selected. He added, our aim is to produce a hybrid elephant mammoth embryo. Actually, it would be more like an elephant with a number of mammoth traits. We're not there yet, but it could happen in a couple of years. The woolly mammoth roamed across Europe, Asia, Africa and North America during the last ice age and vanished around 10,000 years ago. Their closest living relative is the Asian, rather than the African elephant. De-extincting the mammoth has become a realistic prospect, because of revolutionary gene editing techniques that allow the precise selection and insertion of DNA from specimens frozen over millennia in Siberian ice.